Silang maingay. So, dito tayo sa number two, no? To promote and advocate the use of traditional alternative, preventive, and curative health care that have been proven safe, effective, cost-effective, and consistent with government standards on medical practices, no? So, ang gusto rin ng TAGA of 1997 ay i-promote, no? I-promote or i-advocate, no? Ang lahat ng tao dito sa ating bansa or sa ating Pilipinas na... Uh, maniwala, gusto nilang paniwalain ang lahat ng mga tao dito sa ating bansa o sa iba pang mga bansa na ang traditional and alternative medicine dito sa atin ay proven safe, effective, cost-effective, and consistent siya pagdating sa mga government standards on medical practices. Okay? So gusto ng ating government na sabihin sa buong mundo na ang mga alternative and uh, traditional na ways of, um, of traditional traditional and alternative medicines natin dito sa ating bansa ay safe at effective so epektibo at ligtas gamitin no yun ang gusto ko palabasin na tama act of 1997 okay next one number 3 Yes? Good thing so much to develop and coordinate skill, skills training courses for various forms of traditional and alternative healthcare modalities. So, syempre, di ba sabi ko mga kanina, yung mga doktor is hindi naman gaano pinag-aralan yung sinasabi natin traditional and alternative healthcare system, di ba? So, ang ginagawa, ang gagawin na lang ng mga, uh, ang gustong gawin ni Dr. Ani Senator Juan Tabian ay magkaroon tayo o makapag-develop tayo na skill training courses na kung saan patungkol yung pag-aaral nila sa traditional and alternative medicines. Very good. So, number four. Yes, pakibasa na. Thank you so much. So, gusto rin daw ng, uh, ng tama o 1997 na makapag-formulate or makagawa. No? Gusto rin makagawa ng tama at ng standards, guidelines, and codes of ethics. No? Kasi di ba sa mga doktor, meron silang sinusunod ng codes of ethics. So, number one code of ethics sila ay hindi sila pwede pumatay ng uh, pasyente. Di ba? Hindi sila pwede pumatay ng pasyente. Yun ang number one code of ethics nila. Ne? Nakalimutan ko na pero Spanish kasi siya. Pero yun yung meaning niya. Hindi sila pwede pumatay na Thou shall not kill any patients in my hospital. Okay? Yun yung pinanumpaan nila po ng mula. That is their first code of ethics. So kung ganun, kung meron ganun yung mga doktor, dapat meron din ang mga nanggagamag gamit yung traditional and alternative medicine. Di ba? Kasi pareho silang nanggagamot eh. Di ba? Pareho silang gagam pareho nilang gagamotin yung sakit natin. So, paano kung may mangyaring masama sa atin? Sino yung, sino yung mananagot? Kung wala tayong standard guidelines and ethical practices or uh, codes of ethical practices, no? So, sabi din dito, um, that the traditional and alternative medicines are waiting for the approval and adoption by the appropriate government agencies. Sa tingin nyo, ano kaya yung appropriate na uh, government agencies na kailangan mag-approve pagdating sa traditional and alternative medicines? Ano kaya? Ano kaya? It is the, the, the Department of... Department of Health, very good. The Department of Health. Kaya e lang kailangan, kailangan ng ating, uh, ba, uh, ng ating bayan kung saan yan ang mag-a-approve at mag a kung ano yung dapat gamitin ng ating mga 
Magagamot ka na gagamit na traditional and alternative medicine. Tama ba? Tama, no? So, next one natin. Number five. Anyone who can read? Yes? Pwede ka mapit para makita. Number five. Yes. To formulate policies for the protection of indigenous and natural health resources and technology from unwarranted exposure and foreign and approval and the government agencies. So thank you to formulate policies for the protection of indigenous and natural health resources and technologies from unwarranted exploitation and approval and adoption by the appropriate government agencies. So, um, batas na to, yung tama of 1997 din daw, ay nag-formulate, no? Nag-formulate din sila ng mga policies, polisiya o mga batas na kung saan pinoprotektahan uh, ito yung mga indigenous and natural health resources na kung saan pwede natin mapagpuhanan, no? Pwede natin mapagpuhanan ng mga medical, uh, traditional, and alternative medicines, no? So, pinoprotektahan din ng policy na to, ng polisiya na to, yung uh, unwarranted exploitation and approval and adoption. For approval and adoption, no? Pina, pina, ano rin nila, um, uh, pinopor, nag-formulate din ng policy ang ating, uh, ang ating act or yung tama act of 1997, nag-formulate din sila ng policy kung saan mapoprotektahan, no? Mapoprotektahan lahat ng mga uh, manggagamot na gumagamit ng traditional and alternative medicines sa unwanted or unwarranted approval or yung mga hindi naman sila pumayag pero kumuha. Halimbawa, meron ako, ako ay isang manggagamot na gumagamit ng traditional and alternative medicine at meron akong malawak na uh, taniman ng mga alternative or herbal medicines. No, meron akong malawang kanalim ng herbal medicines. Ang nangyari, si Carlo, halimbawa, si Carlo ay kumuha na walang paalam. Pwede ko siya kasuhan. Dahil, nakasaad sa Tama Act of 1997 na you should not uh, the, the unwarranted exploitation, approval, or adoption of any appropriate government agencies or appropriate traditional and alternative medicine na hindi pinagpaalam ay pwede kasuhan. Okay? Next one, to formulate policies to strengthen the role of traditional and alternative healthcare delivery system. Okay? Same lang, halos nito na sa number 5 natin. Uh, ang pinagkaiba lang nila, ang um, pinormulate naman for number 6 ay batas or polisiya para pagtibayin ang traditional and alternative medicine sa ating bansa. Kasi di ba, kung, kung hindi natin siya pagtitibayin, kung hindi natin siya is strengthened, Ano mangyayari? Mawawala. Diba? Mawawala. Mababaliwala. Tama mali. Tama diba? So next one. So the last objective of this act is to promote traditional and alternative healthcare internationally and national in, and national conventions. So gusto rin talaga ni Senator Juan Javier na makilala ang Pilipinas pagdating sa Larangan ng traditional and alternative medicines no? sa ibang mga bansa. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, kundi sa ibang mga bansa. So meron tayo mga um, cooperatives or meron tayo mga uh, partners no? na kung saan sila yung mga katulong ng uh, DOH at na, ni Senator Juan Clavier noon sa pagpapalaganap ng traditional and alternative medicines sa ating bansa, which is the Department of Tourism, Duty Free Philippines Incorporated, Free Philippines Incorporated and Philippines Convention and Business Corporation. Very good. So, Philippines Convention and Visitors Corporation. So, sila tatlo and other tourism related agencies as well as non-government and local government units. So, ito yung mga partners ni Mr. Senator Juan Clavier noong gusto niyang mag- Gusto niya, 
ipakilala, no? Gusto niyang maging internationally known ang ating uh, traditional and alternative healthcare system or medicine, okay? Naintindihan po ba yung objectives ng, ng RA 8423? Yes, sir. Again, ano nga po ulit yung RA 8423? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, kailan siya pinimahal? Yes, sir. Sino ang author? Author Juan Claudio. Okay, naintindihan po ba? Yes, sir. Ano yung tatlong examples ng um, ng traditional and alternative medicine, isa-isa? Bawang. Bawang or herbal medicines? Or herbal medicines? Or herbal medicines? Di ba meron tatlo? Ano yung una? Acupuncture. O yung pangalawa? Yoga. And yung muli? Herbal medicines. Naintindihan po ba? So dahil naintindihan, let us have our quiz for today. Okay? Ito yung quiz notebook nyo. Papabigay na lang natin para gano'n uh, tayo. Bea Alexis. Danica. Atienza. Esconde. Esconde. Alan Joshua. Lagyan mo na ka hindi mo na kasi wala ka rin. Mahira pa dito ako sa record sa iyo. Dion. Kumandal. Pineda. Joby Allen. Sean Esconde. Rosemary. Justin Bershaw. Japer Stanley, Nanyasca, Oliveros, Periales, Manrique, Balik sa Upuan, John Ray, Ian Ison, Gwen Suceso, uh, Alpha Marie, Pabunyas, Princess Angel, Marlo Prospe, Christine Luis de la Torre, Ronel Paz, Pamorongan, Valerio, and Dizon. O yung walang quiz notebook, wala po tayong quiz for today, okay? Today is January 17, quiz number 6. Seven. Quiz number seven. Quiz number seven held and then the 2017, 2023. Number one. Who is the author of RA 8423? Ah, wait lang. Wait lang. Di ko pala namura. Sorry. <coughs> Ay, napaalala ha. Okay, number one. Ibahin natin. Hindi. Ibahin natin. Ibahin Number one, give at least one, one partner corporation of Mr. Juan Flavier. One partner corporation of Mr. Juan Flavier. Tatlo yun, nasa dulong slide. Yung ano, yung ano, tsaka yung ano. <laughs> That is number one. Tatlo yun, pero isa lang yung kailangan nyo. Number two. What is the meaning of Tama of 1997? Give me the meaning of Tama of 1997. What is the meaning of Tama of 1997? Ang 
Ano yung ibig sabihin ng EAMA of 1997? Number three. What is the RA of TAMA of 1997? What is the RA of TAMA of Tama of 1997. Ano yung RA? Anong Republic Act yung Tama of 1997? Number four. When did Tama of our Tama of 1997 is signed. When did Tama of 1997 is signed? Kailan daw inimahan yung Tama of 1997? Buo, month, date, and year. Numbers 5, 6, and 7. Bracket. 5, 6, and 7. Bracket. Three examples of alternative and traditional medicine. What are the three examples of alternative, traditional and alternative medicines? Yung tatlo, yung example ko pa yun, sinabi ko pa nga, si ganito, si ganito, tsaka si ganito. Eh, isa lang naman yun. Three examples, 5, 6, and 7. Yes, kaya may bracket yan, kaya this is small. Numbers 8, 9, and 10, bracket. 8, 9, and 10, bracket. In 2 to 3 sentences, in 2 to 3 sentences, are you in favor of using traditional and alternative medicine? Why or why not? Again, are you in favor of using traditional and alternative medicine? If yes, why yes? If not, why not? Yes or no muna, bago, bakit? Ready? <coughs> Ready? Exchange papers. Exchange papers, right? Corrected by. <laughs> Exchange papers. Right, corrected by. Right, corrected by. Answer for number one. We have three, di ba? We have the Department of Tourism, Duty Free Philippines Incorporated, or Philippine Convention and Visitors Corporation. Ating sa tatlo, sa number one. Again, Department of Tourism, Duty Free Philippines Incorporated and the Philippine Conventions and Visitors Corporation. Number two, what is the answer for number two? 
Traditional and Alternative Medicines Act of 1997. Number three. RA 8423. Very good. Number four. When did? December 9, December 9, 1997. Number five, six, and seven. Acupuncture, yoga, and herbal medicine. Spreading herbal, spreading herbal lang. Herbal or herbal medicines will do acupuncture and yoga. Acupuncture is spelled A-C-U-P-U-N-C-T-U-R-E. Acupuncture. Okay? That is numbers 5, 6, and 7. For numbers 8, 9, and 10, ako na yung mag-check niya. Lagyan na lang ulit sa ibabaw. Kapag wala nang sagot sa 8, 9, and 10, ito na na. Pero pag may sagot sa 8, 9, and 10, maliit na score plus. Maliit na score plus. Pass your papers. Pass your papers. <laughs> okay, again, ulitin ko for your perusal on for your perusals on Friday morning. Yung CD ng inyong um, short film. Okay? Hanggang Friday ng umaga. Pagpasok. Ne? O? O, yung finals nyo nga pala sa PE din. Yung about physical physical fitness. Sir, kailan daw po yun? 23. January 23. Monday. That will be on Monday. No. So, may natutunan po ba tayo ngayong araw? Yes, sir! Marami po ba tayong natutunan tungkol sa tama act of 1997? Yes, sir! Then, thank you so much for your assignment. For your assignment, advance read about the topic for HIV. Okay? Advance link for the topic of HIV and AIDS. Okay? That is our topic tomorrow. Okay? Thank you so much for listening again. Goodbye. Ten Dalia. Goodbye. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul.